hello everybody. Just thought I would give you a quick update on my backpack situation because I have gotten rid of so much stuff. All the stuff that I thought I need, it transpires that I actually don't need it at all. So we're just going to jump straight in. First up, controversially, my Nan with a backpack green dress. I put it in the tumble dryer on a medium heat. It didn't make it. <laughs> Second up, is my Thailand hat. I bought a new like lampshades type hat, didn't need both, so that's gone. Um, I've got two beach dresses which I bought, my full moon dress and um, a rip curl little one. I'll put pictures up here anyway to show you or remind you. Um, both of those are gone because I just wasn't wearing them. Next, I've updated my phone. You will probably remember that I was having issues with my phone. It was quite old, so I've now updated it. I no longer need the lightning cable, so that has gone. My water bottle, I'm finding it very hard to find places to refit it. I've had it three years. It was starting to smell a bit strange as well. So that's gone and it was quite heavy as well. So I've gotten rid of that. My elephant shorts, I do still technically have them, but I have found a pair of linen shorts that I want to buy in the market. So any day now, they've got pockets as well. My long elephant pants, yeah, I put a hole in them. They've gone, but I have picked up a new pair of long black linen pants which are brilliant and I've just worn them, worn them, worn them and I'm wearing them now. Um, my cream vest top, I've got the white one. I don't need white and cream. This one's more comfortable. That's gone. What else have we got here? My grey jumper that I got from Primark, all I'm doing is carrying it around. I don't need it and when I go back home, it will give me an excuse to get myself something from here to take back home and then keep at home because it's pointless carrying around this great big jumper. I have a long sleeved t-shirt which I can wear. I've got button up. I do not need that jumper as well. My matador towel, it came in a little case. I don't need it. It's taking up weight. It's taking up space. Gone. And my green towel, to the person that said, why have you got so many towels? And I'm like, oh, I need it. Yeah, you were right. I don't need it. That's gone too. So with that, I'm going to show you my backpack and what's in it. Come on, let's go and find out. So now I'm going to unzip my bag and show you exactly how everything fits and whereabouts it goes in my bag. Right, let's start with unzipping. <laughs> I think we'll start on this side with my clothes. Underneath here, I have got my little sarong, which does have rips in it. So when I find a new one, I will be purchasing a new one. On the top here, I have my green dress. I have my long black shirt which I bought in New Zealand. These are a new purchase. They are a pair of shorts, two pockets and a zip up back pocket as well. One, two Nan with a backpack t-shirts and my elephant t-shirt and I wear those during the day and I wear them as pyjamas as well. This is the next thing I will get rid of. It's my long sleeved t-shirt, but at the moment I'm gonna keep hold of that until I find something different. My white shirt, which I live and breathe in. One bikini. These are a pair of cycling shorts this is a little black top the same as the white one that I'm wearing today exactly the same just in black 
this is my little racer back top which I wear over the top of my bikini and a second pair of cycle shorts I bought these ages ago in Primark but yeah they do the job and they're lightweight and these are the next things I'm getting rid of it is my all-in-one jumpsuit um, it's pretty much seen better days but I'm keeping it until I can find a replacement because I do wear that a lot on travel days and of course I've got my black trousers here and my white top and that is everything in here I have got nine pairs of pants ten with the one that I'm wearing and I wear the like bra tops from Primark I will put a picture of one of those in here and two pairs of little ankle socks as well which to be honest I haven't worn this is my seed summit wash bag let's see what's in here I haven't unpacked this for a while toothbrush toothpaste sleeping pills tissues earbuds sorry not earbuds for when you want to sleep and people are making a noise whatever they're called vitamin B tablets two melatonin and those are sleeping tip pills so that's everything sort of like if I want to go to bed and in the main compartment we have up the top here two things of perfume this one was given to me by Sam lip seal my mirror which my daughter bought me for Christmas which also has a little light and this is 10 magnification so I can see what I'm doing these are tweezers nail clippers a random hairband mascara which I have actually never used oh maybe once that's my makeup bag I have oh, a shower cap that I've picked up I have a face halo which I've only used a couple of times because I do find that it takes a long while to actually dry out and if I'm traveling around so once it's used it's once I finish using it I'll just get rid of that and this is a body exfoliator which dries really quickly so I use that um, oh, and a random thing of toothpaste and on the zippers I keep safety pins I have cotton buds and toothpicks in there this is shampoo leaves which I haven't used in this little tin is some activated charcoal Silvirax in case I get a cold sore this is magic skin in case I get a cut but thankfully haven't had to use them and this is a magic last swab cotton bud and I have two replacement heads for my toothbrush left that's everything that is in there let's take those out in this main compartment oh, there's the mirror there is my plug stopper which I have used quite a lot there is a little container with some feminine products just in case I don't need them anymore but you never know just in case um, a toothpick um, and some Imodium random in here I have got some hydration tablets oh I have two things of Tiger Balm don't know why first defense toothpicks are in here a little bar of soap in there and this is my shampoo conditioner shower gel and a razor 
and that's it. And here I have got my umbrella and my hairbrush. And that is all that's in here. Oh, tell a lie. I've got my liquids pouch and my notebook, which I used when I did my TEFL exam. And they just slip in the back there. And that's everything in that side. On this side, I've got my packable backpack, um, which I will be replacing at some stage, but at the moment it's fine. I have got two collapsible bags. This one I tend to use for laundry, and this one is a little light one. If I don't want to take the backpack out, I just take this one. I still have my towel, and to be honest, it doesn't weigh that much, and it does compress down flat, but I found this so useful. This is a little medical kit, which I'm working my way through at the moment, and I have used pretty much most of everything that's in here. So I'm glad that I brought this. I'm whittling my way through it. I have my little neck buff, um, but I also use this as an eye mask if I need one. This is my small matador towel, which again, comes in very handy and I have lost the container that go that it went in and the last thing oh no I have my hat which to be honest I haven't really worn since I got my new one let's pop that over there and I've got my mask snorkel what else is in here my floaty stick I've got a small microfiber towel and my little off spray dry bag and that's it. Let's pack this up again. There you go. Done. All right, let's have a go with this now. It weighs 9.56, which is mad because I weighed it just a minute ago and it was 8.3. And my little red laptop one is 4.34. I don't know if you can see that or not. So there we have it. That is my updated backpack packing video. I have gotten rid of so much stuff, but the lighter my bag gets, the happier I am because, as I say, it's about 34, 35 degrees here at the moment and lugging bags around with too much stuff, it's just awful. So I hope you've enjoyed this and if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. It does mean a lot to me and any comments, Leave them down below because I do try to answer everything and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye.